Hi Glenn, what do you think is the most progressive country relating to implementing design and build? Well, I think that Uh, what we've seen already is that um, we have a number of countries which are far more um, used to a design and build delivery model such as in Belgium, in France, in the Netherlands. Um, but what we're finding now is that across Europe is that a lot of the other countries are playing catch up. So, you know, Germany is really now seeing a strong growth of design and build uh, from our perspective. Um, Central and Eastern Europe is also playing a very important role uh, in, in the growth of design and build. Um, so. Whilst we have our sort of our, our Western European uh, markets, which are, are very experienced in this area, we, we're, we're seeing the rest of the uh, of the continent also now play play catch up in that. In your own strategy, where does Germany play a role, or how big is the role of Germany? Yeah, I think it's a very important role. I mean, we've seen and I've shown on the presentation earlier that you know it's it's a very very strong market for us for for, for design and build, and so. Um, I think there's a little bit of a cultural uh, uh, work, work to be done to, 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 to understand the culture of design and build, um, but I think that uh, definitely it's a very strong market for it. Um, it it's something which uh, you know, we've seen as, as, as a real growth uh, market and it's become a real key area. So Germany is probably you know, certainly in that top priority of countries where we are seeing a very strong design and build growth and we also see a really strong future. In your presentation you showed that Germany has higher margins due to strength of market. Can you explain the reasons? Well, um, what we're seeing is that um, the market here is very uh, good right now. The market is very strong. So there is a lot of work happening, there is a lot of projects happening. And as a result of that, we are doing design build projects um, at, at, at a higher margin with lower risk. And what I mean by that is that what we typically see is that our Uh, our, our businesses in, in for example, uh, Belgium, France, they will take on very high margins, but they will take on a lot of risk uh, as a result of that. Whereas uh, Germany is a little bit of an outlier because the margins here are still very good because the business is so busy uh, and the market is so busy. Um, but it means that we don't have to take on the level of risks because we are still doing a lot of open book work, which is obviously at a, at a lower risk than, than a lump sum projects. And therefore, Germany is a little bit of an outlier in that we are, we, we're, we're, we're taking in uh, good margins from the projects, but we aren't necessarily taking on the risks that you normally associate the, with those levels of margins. And as last question, do you think Germany is more or less risky than the other European countries? Oh, I think it's um, I think it's less risky than um, than, than countries such as uh, as France, Belgium, uh, Netherlands, for example, because because of what I've said earlier, because we don't have to take on the levels of commitment to lump sum pricing that we do in in, in other countries. So I think it's actually uh, a lot less risky in those those that that sense. Um, It's still, um, it's very hard to compare though, for example, with uh, you know, the UK for, uh, as an example, where in the UK we, uh, we have a business which is very low risk, uh, but as a result of that, it is a very, very low margin business as well. So I think that um, uh, Germany is, um, is a safer market for design and build, still with very attractive uh, margins associated to it as well. Okay, thank you, Glenn. Okay, thank you.